Until this year, most campus crime reporting was governed by the Clary Act, named for a young woman who was raped and murdered at Lehigh University in 1986. But now, federal law carves out a special category for sexual misconduct, even if it falls short of a crime. It requires colleges not just to report those incidents, they also have to show how they are dealing with the problem. It can become very difficult to not only report and have to deal with from that perspective, but also um, difficult to go through an adjudication process because they're so complex and involved. Washington and Lee University hired what it calls a Title IX coordinator after the federal law that has governed gender equity for decades. Campus security officers have been working closely with the new coordinator to handle reports of sexual misconduct. Virginia Military Institute and Southern Virginia University also have administrators responsible for making sure their universities comply. The Title IX is, okay, how can we end this misconduct, prevent its recurrence, and address its effects? So the focus is different, the reporting requirements are different, and what we do with the report is different. But administrators at WNL worry that the reporting requirements might not mean much. The government advertises the Clary Act as an important resource for prospective students and parents. Dean of Students Sydney Evans says she has rarely been asked about it some pending legislation out there right now where they're talking about rating campuses on, on sexual assault issues. I think anytime you do that, um, it's, it's rife for misunderstanding um, because I do think a lot of these things need context. Project Horizons Executive Director Judy Castile, a local expert on sexual violence, voiced another worry about the new requirements. If complaints cannot be guaranteed confidentiality, she says it might discourage students from coming forward. Washington and Lee is one of only a few schools in Virginia not under investigation for alleged Title IX violations. For the Rockbridge Report, I'm Lindsay Cates.